Attacks on once sacred institutions and their leaders have stopped being no. Trump went from not knowing him to calling him a never Trumper in the course of an hour and a half this morning. But that's nothing compared to the smear campaign happening on cable news. We also know he was born in the Soviet Union, emigrated with his family, young. Uh, he tends to. Uh Seems very clear that he is incredibly concerned about Ukrainian defense. I don't know that he's concerned about American policy, but his main mission was to make sure that the Ukraine got those weapons. I understand that. We all have an affinity to our homeland where we came from. Like me, I'm sure that Vidman has the same affinity. Here we have a U.S. national security official who is advising Ukraine while working inside the White House, apparently against the president's interest, and usually they spoke in English. Isn't that kind of an interesting angle on this story? I find that astounding. And, you know, some people might call that espionage. Except those people aren't chicken shit like the three of you. And they know that he passed a background check that the president's daughter and son-in-law didn't. Did Joining you our say what I think you said? <laughs> I don't know. Joining our conversation, former U.S. ambassador to NATO, who would never say that, so he's here to save us, to elevate us, Nick Burns. He advised Bush 41, Bush 43. Uh, you, 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 we just start, we just cut through this lunacy. We don't even always get on the air with all the smears and all the debasement. We try not to amplify Donald Trump's attacks and certainly not hers. But I, what's happening? Ambassador. Shameful behavior by those people attacking Lieutenant Colonel Vindman's patriotism. Here's someone who's wounded in Iraq, who served his